just reveal Selena Gomez's kidney transplant complication that could have turned fatal. A few hours after our surgery, I woke up and had a text from her that said, I'm really scared. With that message from Selena, the singer's best friend and kidney donor, Francia Raisa, realized their three-hour transplant surgery didn't go as planned. Francia tells W Magazine, my kidney was very active and I broke an artery. They had to take Selena into emergency surgery to build a new artery to keep the kidney in place. She could have died. The doctor said that 50% of my recovery will be mentality. I wanted to get through it in a way where I felt empowered. Two weeks after their summer surgery, Francia was already auditioning for Blackish spinoff Grownish. Despite being in so much pain, she couldn't even open a door. And by November, she was gushing about her inspirational BFF. Having this news drop was really hard for me because I've never had anything personal out. And she just was like, hey, you know what? I've been, yeah, you're going to be fine. It's all good. Meanwhile, fans of Selena's old friend Demi Lovato are asking, did Nicki Minaj nearly drive Demi to drink? In the new issue of Billboard magazine, recovering alcoholic Demi describes her terrible experience at the 2016 Met Gala. This one celebrity was miserable to be around. I remember being so uncomfortable that I wanted to drink. She doesn't mention any names, but when Demi and Nikki walked the red carpet together with designer Jeremy Scott, Nikki seemed to be flashing Demi some side eye and photos and freezing her out of their ET interview. Some I see Demi looking in the back and she looks glamorous yeah, too. Demi's got some say those painfully awkward moments could have been what made Demi leave the gala early for a 10 p.m. Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. She tells Billboard, I still had millions of dollars of diamonds on in an AA meeting, and I related more to the homeless people in that meeting than the people at the Met Gala. Fake.